name is David G. Pashon, and I'm taking a master's in science in computer science here at AMA Online Education. And in this video, I'll be presenting my course project in the course MSCS 7102 or Theory of Automata and Formal Languages with the course code CS6205. And the professor of this course is Professor Paul Jacob Cruz. My course project will be consisting of an automaton or a mechanical toy or object that will be moving according to a particular set of steps. And in this course, Automata and Formal Language, it is relevant because it has a particular set of steps just as we program computer programs. In Activity 1, I had already outlined the materials that I use for the project. I've also provided the step-by-step -step process in creating this toy. So in this video, Activity number 2 will be tackled, which is the demonstration of this said toy. So I'll be showing on your screen right now the movement that the galloping speed is able to do. As you can see, the speed or course or otherwise known as an equestrian, is able to move all of its four limbs with accordance to its head and its tail. So all of them are moving simultaneously in all of these different directions. And so in every revolution that you make with the rotation of the wheel, a cycle of movement is being created. I have in my hands right now the horse or the galloping speed, which what, what I titled this toy product. And it's made out of a solid cardboard material, unlike the brown cardboard material. This is much sturdier. And I have also included these connectors, which I have made using nylon cable ties, which are normally used to tidy up your electrical cables. And under it, we have a supporting stick. And if I rotate it so that you can see the rear, behind it you will see this circular cardboard material, which the rest of the limbs are connected to. And this is what the prime primary movement is dependent on. And so you will also notice when I turn it 90 degrees so that you, sh you will see all of the front-facing materials here, there are some materials that separates each of the limbs and the torso and the head as well as the tail from each other. And so when you look at it from the front or from behind, it will give you the illusion that it is indeed a three-dimensional object rather than just one single plane, which it would have otherwise been since it is just cardboard. And I've also built this platform right underneath it so that it will be steady and in place. Under it, you will notice that I have included also this block of the same material so that it will remain steady and in place rather than shaking. In this course project, I learned that an automatic toy is a contraction that is capable of moving in various directions with one simple movement inputted into the mechanism. And this is related to our course automata and formal languages in ways computers are directed to move in one way or another in very specific steps and in this mechanism also has very specific steps and an input acceptor in which an output is expected and is expected to be consistent in every cycle or every execution if you will continuing the analogy with computers and programs so in some ways automatic toys are just programs when you compare them to the concept of computers and assembling the toy itself the process per se is comparable to the process of programming in computers